Welcome back. President Trump reacting to this week's Judiciary Committee hearing with FBI Director Christopher Wray. I spoke with the 45th president in an exclusive interview for Sunday Morning Futures. We started our conversation with a look at the upcoming debate and whether he will participate. And I got his reaction to the FBI director defending the charges of weaponization and politicization at the FBI. Was it a mistake to put Christopher Ray there? I mean, obviously, the FBI is not following any of the things that you're yeah, talking about. Sadly, it probably was. You know, he was recommended very strongly by Chris Christie, who's, you know, a sad case. I mean, I watch him. He's a sad case. Well, he's in this race, he said, just to take you down. Well, I know. And you know how he's doing? He's at one percent and he probably won't even make the debate stage. Uh, no, Chris is a he's sad. I mean, I watched him the other day. He said, I built 47 miles of wall. I built over 500 miles of wall. And that's homeland security statements. Uh, I had the safest border in the history of our country. I built massive miles of wall and was going to put up another 200 miles. Everything was built. They just had to erect it. Would have taken three weeks, far beyond my statement about building a wall. I was way over. I mean, what we did was incredible. But between the wall and Mexico, when you say Mexico, I got Mexico. You know what? I got them to pay for 28,000 soldiers on our border. You know, people said, well, Mexico. Well, Mexico did pay. They gave me free of charge 28,000 soldiers. Uh, Joe Borelli, obviously the border was one of the priorities for President Trump. I think you'll be interested in hearing what his thoughts are related to the FBI and what he wants to see in terms of uh, reform. That's one of the big topics of conversation, and he broke news on that. Your reaction to uh, the president now talking about all of the issues that matter in the face of two indictments. Well, look, I'm glad you uh, asked him about Christopher Wray. Uh, and I say this as someone who supports uh, President Trump. I'll be happy to vote for him. But his hires are one of those areas where he has a little bit of vulnerability, whether you're talking about actually Christopher Wray or even Chris Christie. The other networks are sort of full uh, of people who, who he had hired at one point, uh, who things went sour, uh, and now they're on these other networks uh, spewing, uh, you know, some, some vitriol against him. On the flip side, when he talks about that border wall and he talks about how his administration dealt with Mexico and the crisis in Texas and Arizona, etc., he can walk on water. This is exactly what America wants to hear as they are treated to, every single night they turn on the news, they're treated to cities like New York, uh, El Paso, and everywhere in between who are dealing with this crisis uh, caused by Joe Biden. If he sticks to talking about the border on this campaign, he wins this election no problem because there is such a clear difference between the Trump administration and the Biden administration. And we can point to, to, to a host of things uh, where Biden has changed things for the absolute worst. Yeah, I, I did ask him about mistakes made in 2016, 2017 throughout his uh, term. Uh, and, and what he would do differently in a new term. And that was one of the key things that he mentioned, Joe, uh, about personnel. So, Rebecca, we'll see if we've got uh, a, a different uh, a look at who he wants to hire. I also asked him if one of uh, the people on that debate stage could be his vice president candidate. So he also reacted uh, to who's on the stage for the upcoming uh, primary debate. Rebecca, your thoughts? Yeah, you know, Maria, I'm watching this interview with you that you did with him and the, the dichotomy from that interview of Christopher Ray testifying before Congress to be held accountable for the the dereliction, if you will, of the FBI and things that they've done recently and how they've been weaponized versus the fact that the Secret Service comes out today and can't even find a video and give us who the locker belongs to. I, what I'm trying to say is how the FBI, obviously there was the Secret Service that, I, that, that was there, but we have seen such a difference between how this administration, people who are affiliated with this administration are treated and how President Trump was treated. And I think the American people are sick of it. They can just see it. It's so clear. It might have not have been as apparent until recently, but now it's right out there in the front open view and the American public is looking for accountability and not special treatment. Um, it's such a huge difference. Yeah. And as you know, the president's lawyers have asked for a, a postponement of the trial uh, related to the classified documents indictment. Uh, we talked about that as well. Be sure to tune in to my exclusive.